the squad wise any injuries anybody uh, Tom Lockie no injuries available? Tom Lockie's trained all week uh, fully fit squad to choose from absolutely and um, that must be given the, the size of the squad that's important that you've got the, uh, the, the full 16 it is it is but I've um, you know just signing Neil Trotman on the short term deal he comes in uh, into the squad so uh, I'm sure you guys will want to have a chat with him after that because I've only just announced that but he's agreed the short term deal to earn himself a full time contract he played a full season at Plymouth last year. He's missed a couple of weeks of pre-season from a bad, badly infected toe. But you know he's been a, he's been great in the changing rooms, and it's testament to the lad. To be fair, because he's got offers on the table of, of of longer terms, but he he wants to take his chance at Bristol Rovers and earn himself a full-time contract, which is which is great. Um, with regards, Jamie Turley, we had him assessed and medical. He didn't pass his medical. He's still six to eight weeks away. Jamie Turley is still a player I want to bring in the football club when he's fit. Uh, you know, testament to Jamie Turley, he wants to come in a couple of days a week without any cost, any any wages being paid to get himself fit, ready to go for when he when he can play. Mm. But that's by no means that Neil Trotman's not here to fill in that space. He's in here to earn himself a full time contract at the football club longer than one he's got. So it's great to have that competition at the back. And both give you a little bit of experience, don't they? They're not fresh out of youth football. He played a full season at Plymouth last season. Neil Trotman, he's got plenty of experience. He's fitted in well with the group all pre-season. You know, he's he's very good to be positioned in the box at the right time to head things away. So I'd like to have seen a little bit more of him, but obviously the affected toe caused a few problems. But his experience speaks for itself, so uh, he'll be a welcome addition. Mm -hmm. So in, in a month's time or whatever it is, it, would you envisage Jamie putting pen to paper? It's just a case of waiting until he's uh, ready listen, to play. Wait, wait, wait and we see. You know, at the end of the day, we we was never going to uh, be paying a player that didn't pass his medical. You know, his his bone's still healing in his arm, six to eight weeks away from contact. That is to play six and eight weeks away. So we'll assess it when he comes in. He'll be coming in a couple of days of the week uh, at his own expense and. Uh, We'll be having a having a look at him now at the time. Okay, and then uh, the last one you were waiting on was the uh, the winger. Any progress on that deal? Winger, yeah, I, uh, I offered a winger a deal. Who's uh, trialing a crew, Angelo Balanta. I offered him a deal. He's decided not to accept the deal and stay at crew on trial. I wish him all the best. Okay. Um, and what about Kali, Daryl? What about A, he's training with the squad? Yes, yeah, You know, still training with the squad, he's trained a couple of days. He'll train the back end of this week, then I'll make a decision on him. I have made a loan move for a striker uh, to to bring a loan striker in for a month. I'm waiting on a phone call today about that. Okay. Kelly's done alright? Done okay? Done okay. Uh, a little bit rough around the edges, but like I say, we're having a bit of a practice match this morning behind behind closed doors so uh, we'll have a little look at him in that and I'll have a look at him in training tomorrow then I'll make the decision.